Okay, in this video we're going to talk about number three from the Calc A, B, and B, C exams in 2017. And uh, it's one of those problems where you're given a graph of the first derivative and you're asked a bunch of questions. So here is the graph, um, and you're told that uh, the function is differentiable on the closed interval, f is differentiable on the closed interval from negative 6 to 5, and f of negative 2 is 7. So that's all given. Um, and what we want to do is we want to find the values of f of negative 6 and f of 5. So what I'm going to start off with is I'm going to write an accumulation function that tells me just in general what f of x is. So um, f of x is going to be... Um, what we start with, which is f of negative 2, plus the integral from negative 2 to x of f prime of, and then you need a dummy variable, so I always use t if I can. So um, f of x is the integral from, uh, rather, f of x is f of negative 2 plus the integral from negative 2 to x of f prime of t dt. And so we can use this to find f of negative 6 and f of 5. So the only tricky thing about f of negative 6 is that negative 6 is actually less than negative 2, so when I go to find f of negative 6, it's going to equal f of negative 2 and then minus the integral from negative 6 to negative 2, f prime of, now I'm changing to x because obviously I'd rather use x, um, so f prime of x dx. So you switch the bounds and change the sign. And now we just need to do a little geometry to figure out uh, that triangle there. So that triangle is, uh, it has a base of 4 and a height of 2, so 1 half 4 times 2 is 4. So this is going to give us um, 7 minus 4, which is 3. So I know that f of negative 6 is 3. Okay, and then I need to find f of 5. So f of 5, same idea. It's going to be f of negative 2. And then it's plus the integral from negative 2 to 5 of f prime of x dx. And I need to do a little more geometry. So we have a semicircle that has a radius of 2, so overall the entire circle would have a, radius, a uh, area of 4 pi, but we only have half, so that's 2 pi. Also, it's below the x-axis, so this region here gives me negative 2 pi. And then I have another triangle that has a base of 3 and a height of 2. It's nice that they keep making the height be 2, um, which means I pick up 3 in my area there. And so this is going to be 7 plus, and then negative 2 pi, and plus 3. So I get f of 5 is 10 minus 2 pi. And you want to uh, keep those values in mind because we're actually going to need them later on. Um, so the next part of the question is just on what intervals is f increasing and justify your answer. So this is very straightforward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that f is increasing when f prime is greater than 0. And then we just look at the graph and we recognize that the graph is f prime. So here, um, from negative 6 to negative 2, we're above the x-axis, which means that f prime is positive, which means f is increasing. And then also these two other parts, so from uh, 2 to 3 and also from 3 to 5. So uh, I'm just going to list those intervals. So therefore, f is increasing on the intervals uh, negative 6 is less than x is less than negative 2 and um, 2 is less than x is less than 5 and that's actually the entire problem for that um, so let's move on to the next part which is find the absolute minimum value of f on the closed interval from negative 6 to 5 and justify your answer so this is a classic um, candidates test problem so we know that the um, absolute min is going to occur at either an endpoint or a critical point. We know the endpoints are negative 6 and 5. And we also can find the critical points. So critical points are where the derivative is either 0 or undefined. So looking at our graph, the critical points uh, are going to be at negative 2 and 2. Uh, we might have had to worry about 5, but 5 is an endpoint, so we already covered that. So critical points are going to be um, at x equals negative 2 and x equals 2. So we've identified all the candidates, and then we know um, that f of x is um, f of negative 2 plus the integral from negative 2 to x of f prime of t dt. And so we have all of our candidates, we know what f of x is, so I'm going to set up a table with x, f of x, and then all my candidates. 
Um, if you remember, we already found f of negative 6 and f of 5 in part a. Um, and we found all these areas that we needed. And so let's see. So f of negative 6 we found was 3 f of 5 we found was 10 minus 2 pi, so we're going to have to like figure that value out, but that's okay. And f of negative 2 is actually given, it's 7, so really to find f of 2 I just need to um, go from 7 and then subtract the 2 pi, so 7 minus 2 pi. So um, 7 minus 2 pi is like 7 minus 6.28, so that's actually less than 1. And 10 minus 2 pi is 10 minus 6.28. I mean, obviously, 7 minus 2 pi is smaller than 10 minus 2 pi. So the minimum value, the absolute minimum value, actually occurs at that critical point there. So the absolute minimum value is 7 minus 2 pi. And that's going to happen at x equals 2. So that's your absolute minimum. And then the final part of this is about second derivative. So we want to find... Find or say why it doesn't exist for f double prime of negative 5 and f double prime of 3. And remember, we have the graph of f prime. So um, f double prime of negative 5. So I'm going to look at the graph of f prime at negative 5. And that happens to fall on a line segment. And the slope of this line segment is down 2 and over 6. Um, so negative 1 third. And so I'm going to say that f prime of negative 5 is negative 1 third. And then f double prime of 3. So f double prime of 3 is a little trickier because 3 is right here, and you can see that to the left of 3, the slope is um, 2, I guess, up 2 over 1. And then to the right of 3, the slope of f prime is negative 1, down 2 and over 2. Um, so f double prime of 3 uh, does not exist. And I'm just going to say that it does not exist because f prime has a sharp turn at x equals 3. Um, but you might prefer to be more rigorous with that and say that it doesn't exist because uh, the slope to the left is positive 2 and the slope to the right is uh, negative 1. But I'm going to go with this, um, and that's the uh, entire problem. So I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.